Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Woods. So, uh, previously we ended up getting stomped pretty bad by a bunch of monsters multiple times, and we also helped some young eccentric dude get his rocket ship up and going. So, we'll see what he looks like in a couple hours, and <clears throat> maybe he's actually got a rocket ship going. I have no idea, but we'll find out. Alright, so, as I remember, um, I need to get this place set up because it's about to be nightfall a little bit here. So... We're about to find out if this idea actually works. Alright. Did it another night. Alright. Dismantle this. I think I can't salvage those as uh, those pieces of wood. One of the things I've noticed is the ground seems to be, like, more and more alive. What is that noise? It sounds like singing. Train wreck. That's not a good sign. What are those frogs? Like frogmen? Those are the same things that attacked me before. I can't get anything I can out of this thing. God, what is he doing? Oh, he's definitely coming this way. gonna chase me. Okay. Give up. Here. Go to the village. I got a bad feeling about going down this road. I'm guessing I leave the forest if I go down there. Okay, let's go look around a bit more. There's gotta be more stuff here. Alright, let's exit the village. Or exit to the village. I have no idea what's going on. Gutted pig. Oh my god, I can see it right there on the top right. It's like... It's not just gutted, but it's like it's molded into the tree. Is this a warning? to the village I'm here because it's so difficult to see it's making me really uncomfortable all right I don't know what happens now I can see someone smiling under a hood in that background whoa okay new location I can't do that now okay oh I'm in the shrine. What is that? Like a like a muddy stick figure? Uh, a shiny stone has pressed into a mess, mud, uh, mud covered head. Take the stone. I carefully removed the stone. Yeah, I know those are a value. I can sell those. Hopefully, no one gets pissed at me about that. I don't even know if there's any denizens here anymore. Other than the old hag that might probably be will probably will be here. She is. I'm guessing that's her. Our woods are so beautiful this time of year. Yeah. Decorated with pigs and whatnot. Okay, they're not aggressive. But she doesn't seem to be paying me any mind. I should get two kilos of meat for this month. Antec. 
Won't you si won't save you this time? You hear me? Give me that fucking knee. Boy. All right, I better not kill any of the animals here because if I do, I'm probably gonna get wrecked. He tries to come back. That fucking quack doctor. Oh, they're probably talking about the doctor they ambushed me in the beginning. Bag. Oh, it's that surgical bag that I saw earlier in the beginning of the game by the doctor. Who are you? Get away from me. Okay, okay. Take it easy. old well destroyed. If I find a long sturdy rope or a chain, I should be able to descend from it. A chain. He's been hiding in his college for the last couple of days. He'll end up like the others. I'm surprised there are actually like a civilization of some kind, I'm telling you. He'll run off into the woods and disappear. Like for a minute, I thought it was just me and stuck in the woods. The villagers turned their heads away from me. I don't think I don't think I'm welcome here. Not a lot of loot here for me to salvage. Salvage. All sorts of barricaded in. What is that? Get the shiny stone quickly. What is that? Hopefully, it doesn't attack me. I, I'm I want to get closer because my my curiosity is getting the best of me, but I'm really worried that I'll get hurt. I can hear you. So there's definitely some kind of infection going on in this in this place. I mean, I knew there was, but it's whatever is going on is clearly has some form of progression. It's not like instantaneous and you're you're a monster or like you die and turn into a monster. It's definitely something else. I'm guessing this guy must have barricaded himself into his house once he realized he was infected, trying to protect people because he was afraid to go outside by himself. But he also didn't want anyone else to get hurt. Black doll. Found a doll. The woman stares at the ground with a dead look. I'm guessing this must be the woman, right? No. Guess not. Kill the pig. Is that good advice or not? It says to kill the pig, but I'm really worried that if I do that, people are going to just come down on me. The wooden floor is sticky with chicken feces and feathers. Chicken lady, there she is. Wow, her face does not look good. Woman, you need some lotion or something. Holy smokes. The old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs ch the chick her chicken pass possessively. Better keep them hands off my me hands, you bloody scoundrel. The old lady puts her one of her hands to her ear, mumbling under her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I've seen me share of things, lived through many a war, but nothing like this. Lord be my witness, this accursed land ain't a place for men, ain't a place for a hen. Alright, let's show her the road. 
Oh, I remember this place, I do. It's been six years since I've last been there. This road used to lead to other villages. You could you could also take it to get to the city, not that far from here. You won't get there now. These devilish trees have overgrown everything. So yeah, there, there seems to be a tree that seems to be overtaking most of the stuff. Now I wonder how she's gonna respond to the plastic chicken. Hell's bells, where did you find it? Where did you find it? The old lady seemed disturbed. The head and falls silent. I can feel a tension in the air. Holy mother, it's Janet, uh, uh, er, Gen X? Little hen, a gift from me. My little brother, a couple of days ago he got mad. I told him, stay, you're not one of them brainy fellas. You know nothing, but he won't listen and went off, when he, went, off he went to the other fella. Here, take this. He went to see this fella. See him? He never came back. The old lady, the old, the lady shoves a crumpled photo in my hand. That must be the doctor right there I see in there on the bottom left. I'm guessing this is her little brother, and she must be right here trying to like comfort him or something, or at least discuss something to him. An old burnt photo. The woman trembles violently. Her hand, sh sh shoulder shrugs to maintain balance. You're all I have, my little sisters. Okay, gossip. Poor Hanus, uh, Hanuska has lost her mind. Her fella knocked her up with this abomination. Even her mongrels tucked her tail and yelped when they saw it. I tell you, poor soul. They burned her fella with a shack and took the horror somewhere else. Some, Someone got the jitters a little wonder. The old lady smells kindly, bare, bearing her yellow teeth. Yeah. Uh, it's... It was a long time ago, but y'all remember it still, my little hen, don't ya? So, this person has lost their mind because they got pregnant with another man, or with another man's child, and the child didn't come out properly, I guess, like, they call it an abomination for some reason, and it even scared the dogs to some degree. So they burned the man and the house and took the baby somewhere else and not much else went down. Thank the Lord for ye sow. Uh, poor thing seems sickly, but she has more life in her than the lot of us, if you ask me. Only thanks to her we've been able to put up, put up in the pot these days. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? Holy Mother, this creep again. May the devil take him and his blast of violin. The old, learn, old lady turned red and started to scream. Devil, fuck your mother. <laughs> Get away from the house. That's a violin. I can hear someone kind of struggling to breathe right now, and that makes me nervous. I have to come back to this place at some point. Hearing you. There's all sorts of loot here that I need to come back for. Alright, let's go check out the violin dude. I'm sorry, it won't happen again! Well, that's kind of cute that he went and grabbed the violin after going to hide. <laughs> but, let's go talk to the musician. It's not my fault! I know it doesn't sound too great, my violin. It's a bit broken. It won't play anymore. Sorry. Um, sir? Have you been in that hut? The chicken lady's hut? You're not afraid of her? You're brave. And, have you seen her? The pretty lady? She's... The most beautiful lady in the world. I watch her through the cracks in the window. She changes when I watch her. Gets more beautiful. I play for her. Really? This kind of creep? Um, I want her to be happy. Because she doesn't seem to be. The chicken lady locked her in that room. Okay. That's what I'm hearing is someone breathing. And I'm guessing she may not be human anymore. She, she keeps her in there. She envies her. She won't allow her to see anyone. Even me. 
She knows very well that during the last Kupala night, I fished out the pretty lady's wreath wreath? From the river. Yes, sir, the chicken lady knows what it means. Oh yes, I will become the pretty lady's husband. We will walk hand in hand, sir. I will play for her, Mr. Sir. I tried to release her, but the chicken lady, she chased me off. She always does. I, I also, I looked for the key in Mr. Jane, but he's now disappeared. I don't know how to get into the house. Odd. So kind. So very kind. You are just like him, my daddy. But my papa has changed, mister. She's like my mommy. I will not listen. They will not listen to me. They won't hear me, hear how sad I am, sir. Okay, probably because they're not human anymore. Oh, but I am not boring you, sir. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please. Please hear me out. Don't go. The nervous grunting can be heard from underneath the tractor. Perhaps you could help me. Nod. Please, please find the key, good sir. To the uh, pretty lady room. The chicken lady has it. Well, Mr. Jansen has it too. I saw him recently near the well. Okay, so I have to get it from the husband probably, not the lady. Unless I have to kill the lady. Um, and I'm not really willing to do that. Uh, he, ha he used to play with me. He threw rocks into the well and I looked into our reflection. While making me while making silly faces daddy used to say don't do that else my face will stay that way Not the water in the now the water in the well it is always hazy. It shows these weird images the well is here In the village maybe you found him in there He used to hang around it often. He stared into the well as if he's looking for something or someone strange boy Okay, um, I must hide now. Hide from the chicken lady. I will go to that place where they used to keep all the grain in the southeastern part of the forest. Will you bring me the key if you find it? I promise to keep, repay you somehow. Me and the pretty lady. Um, this is our doctor, yes. He, he, just, he is just as brave and good as you are. He helped me. He helped all of us. He gave me this beautiful mask so I could help heal my affli afflictions. Maybe you can have one too. This doctor came to this village with the intent to heal people, but somehow he has inflicted these people with some kind of disease and is looking to get out. And somehow this disease must have spread to the forest. I don't know how, or maybe the forest was the beginning of it, I don't know. But in any case, this, this whole disease has gotten out of control. Mommy once told me about this road. She said people used to travel to it. They would leave their houses and walk during the night. I was scared of this story. I was afraid Mommy will go out too and leave me behind. Have you heard about the sow? The villagers keep this sow in the nearby pig shed. They call it the mother of all pigs. They say it's beautiful, but I've never seen it. They won't let me near her. They chase me off. They always chase me off. The little musician drops his gaze. Maybe you would be able to see her, mister. This, if you manage to get inside, would you... Maybe you could even a wee piece of meat for me. I never eaten a pig, and I heard it's very tasty. Would you mind make some for me? Okay. I'm guessing that's something I could do. He said it needs to be done. It will help. He said. I don't understand. Burn a mix of herbs in the oven. Uh, whatever those three things are. Keep the patient warm. Twice a day, one tablespoon of sauerkraut used by mouth. That sounds very nutritious. What a foul stench. Got a bad feeling here. Okay, I see a body, but... It's charred, it's burned. Its arms are bound... Its arms and legs are bound with a chain. Got a bad feeling. I think someone's gonna ambush me any minute now.
That's the pretty lady. And she does not sound pretty to me. Looks like she's under the covers right now, and she is definitely turned. I... You know, as much as it may be to my benefit to help the kid, I don't want to help the kid because, uh... You can get wrecked by that girl. And not in a good way. Alright. I have no space for any material right now, so I'm gonna backtrack and um, drop off my supplies. But I at least know where this village is at. So I can come back and get more supplies later. break through that, I'm gonna immediately barricade this. Sounds like there's two of them at least. What is that? Is that set on fire? Yeah, I don't really know what to do about that yet. I just know I'm going to barricade this right now. Did that actually break the furniture from outside? Because that really sucks if that did. I wonder if I was supposed to keep that light on those doors. Prevent that from happening. Seems like someone like, threw something here. I don't understand what happened, but it definitely lit on fire. Okay, they definitely got in. Okay, I'm gonna put a bear trap right here. Dog has not found me yet. But it did now. See if I can keep dodging him. Come on, light. Oh my god, I'm so close to getting out of here. Oh, I made it! I made it! Oh my god, I made it! I cannot believe it! It freaking pancaked me! Ugh. What happened to that body I shot? I didn't get a chance to, like, search his body. Boy, did they do some damage, though. Holy shit! I have to repair the hell out of this. Even just destroyed the furniture I put outside to kind of keep this thing barricaded. I'd be really careful around that. I guarantee you, at one point I'm gonna run right into that thing. Alright. Uh, 
to show this guy the uh, photo of the doctor and see how it goes. Well, well, I know this quack. A non-entity, a third-rate do third witch doctor, useless fucking clunker. But he still managed to screw you over with that key, eh, comrade? Okay, that's all it was to it. Way to kind of, like, denigrate me, dude. It's not like I felt bad about it already. Ultimately, you can change. You've got the chain that I might need. I do need, actually. Probably trade two of those medical things for you. Small. Someone inside this small hole. You can barely see a silhouette. Looks like a grown man with long, disheaved hair. I'm completely covered in mud. Okay. Quite a wide tunnel. There are finger marks on the ground. It must have been used to dug out using bare hands. I wonder where it leads. Ooh, I actually climbed in. I didn't mean to climb in. Oh, it's a fast travel. Is this actually a fast travel straight from my to my house? This would have helped a lot. It's my first house, even. How the hell did they dig a tunnel straight to my first house? Oh no, it's not. It's my second house. You know, this probably would have saved me a lot of time if I had known this before, because I've been running back and forth, back and forth, collecting resources. Um, now that I know about this, I didn't need to do that. Pointing. Some bastard desecrated our shrine. He took the stone. It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it. This must be why the woods are uh, whispering so gloomily. I, they'll immediately blame me if they spot me. Alright, I've got the chain. I probably can climb down now. The tunnels always make me nervous in this game because there's always like living things out there and drawings on the floor that look like people and strange noises and things moving around in the darkness that make me very uncomfortable. All these things. All these awful, awful things. You wonder why I don't go into these tunnels. Torch going out. Please don't attack me whatever in here. That sounded intense. Definitely hear something alive down here with me. I'm gonna need my handgun. I don't got my handgun. I'll sit back at the shop. So get ready to run. That comes down to it. Definitely looks like bodies on the ground. Can't tell. Stylistic choice of whether that's criticism. Good thing. Oh man. Let's go down here real quick and see what's down here. The opposite direction of the moving shadow. I'm not finding any resources down here at all. I'm hoping to find a couple things at least. Something's down there. 
something's over there. I don't know. I can't tell. The noise is making me very uncomfortable. I'm gonna need means to navigate, so I'm gonna need this flare when it comes down to it. Oh shit! Run! Oh fuck me! Oh shit! What the fuck is that? I think I lost it for a little bit. I think I lost my mind. Harvest this. Oh, there's another one! Let's get the fuck out. Those growls are really unnerving. Oh, uh, there's probably still more shit in there, though. I want to go back. Giant face badge of death. I can't even see it in that that background. Hard to discern like which one is it is and which one it is not. Sounds like it's further down, so I should be able to slip past it. Ah, this place is so confusing. doesn't have much life, a lot of life left in it. You get ready to get the hell out of here soon. Fuck me! That makes it. Enter the surface. Oh my god, I got out. Holy shit! I have no idea where I am, though. Go ahead and harvest all this, and then bring it back to the house. Use it all to level up. Plastic chickens. Nice. I bet I break that. Bring those to her. She'd be very happy. A dog tag. Be kind. Okay. All right. Let's cook these things. I, bet I can get a lot out of this. All right. Uh, once a day. For about one minute, I will be able to see all around me. My blood will hurt enemies. Once a day, I will be able to run for a short amount of time without losing stamina. That's really nice. My set will get worse for a short amount of time when I receive damage. My vulnerability to poison will increase. Uh, that's a bit of a problem because I do get hit by a bit of poison from time to time. Um, I might end up going with that. I think I will go with that. Now last time 
we ended up getting some kind of like crazy dream going on last time, so I'm wondering if that's gonna happen this time too. And it looks like it is. I'm willing to bet it is. Totally a dream state, isn't it? Yep. I hope that not a lot of time passes by the time this happens, so. Let's see what happens. Smell of grass and trees. The earth bends under my foot. The sky swirls pleasantly. Until you see uh, giant insects all over the place. Sounds pleasant to me. About to go really bad, isn't it? There we go. I think it's here. Oh, that is one inviting ass corpse. And look at its mouth. It's like. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. It's talking to me? You look tired. What's that noise? You look tired. Come lie with me. Feel the soil. The trees hum so calmly. They sing so beautifully. There's more insects. Can you hear it? A completely ordinary dead man with a smile on his face. He's gone! Oh my god, he's gone. There's a... Lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down! Can you hear it? I don't want to hear it! Stop it! Can you hear their song? Oh my fucking god, get the fuck away from me, dude! Sleep in the grave? Achievement unlocked? Holy shit, did you guys see that thing? How the fuck did I get away with that? I may have missed some things in that dream, but fuck, what did I get? Cock cookable rots over time. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, I can cook this. 120. Holy shit. Okay, cook these. Cook this. Cook this. Cook all this shit. All of it. Everything. Cook it all. Look at that. Huge progress in a very short amount of time. I'm all about that. All right, everyone, that's it for today for this episode of Darkwood. So um, I went back to camp and I decided to drop off all the material that I picked up, um, make use of all the uh, the essence that I can use for the syringe to level up. And uh, I've, got a, I've kind of got a pretty clear goal of what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. I'm going to find out what happened to the pretty lady. Probably going to attack me the moment she sees me. I'm going to first try to talk to the musician boy and get him to go in there first. So that way I can get the material off of him that he promised to reward, reward me for once I got him into the room. So he'll probably die, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't. And uh, yeah, so something to look forward to. Till next time, thank you all for joining me. Bye-bye.